So we got Brody here from Marsh River Outfitters. Morning. You're gonna take care of everything for us today. Well, we're gonna do everything. We're gonna do everything. We're, we're gonna, gonna have some fun. we're gonna go after a big, big one. Big. Well, shot. maybe like a five footer. That's big to me. Fifty four inches will do. Yeah. That's all we need. That's the target. Yeah. All right, let's go. Well, big thanks to today's sponsor, Bass Pro Shops. You guys love Bass Pro Shops because it has absolutely everything from all your hunting and fishing, but it also has housewares and even footwear. It's got literally everything. So thanks again, Bass Pro. Now let's jump into this video. This is where we part. <laughs> Officially. Yes, I'm not going fishing. You're not going shark fishing. What? This is your time to get revenge on Steven Spielberg for tormenting you every time you went swimming. Mm, yeah, true. Right? Even in a freshwater lake, it's always the shark. Yep. So this time it's revenge. So that's the target species for today, shark. Mm -hmm. But she didn't want to come. Take it on my behalf. Yeah, she's going to go sightseeing around here because she doesn't want to risk getting uh, seasick and bit. So Holden last time he was on the boat on one of these thingies. We did another one. He got uh, pretty seasick, so we loaded him up on drum Dremamine. You feeling sleepy yet? No. No? How do you feel now? Normal. Normal. Okay, we'll check in in a uh, couple hours and see. Apparently this is going to be a little bit of a little bit of a thing to uh, to catch a shark. I've never done it before, so I am just going to be learning the ropes. We're with Marsh River Outfitters and they are going to take care of us. Now if you're just joining me on this main series, uh, we've done lots of Let's say medium, small, so this is gonna be the big. Been here for almost two weeks now. Holden Anton, my son, Courtney, has been tagging along, doing the sightseeing missions. This time we're after a trophy. And if we do catch it, we're definitely gonna cook it. All right, where are you going? Around. Around. Booth Bay, apparently. And Booth Bay, see the sights, mm -hmm. all the good stuff. Yep. You don't. You sure you don't want to go for shark? Yes, positive. <laughs> You're positive. All right. So if all goes well, we'll see you uh, afternoon. Okay. And if not, tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Good luck. We gotta get Jaws. He's out there, right, Holden? <laughs> we'll do a service to the the town of Maine. Yeah. The town. The town. Someone got attacked by a shark, so I don't feel bad for them. Ah. Hi. Yeah, it's basically an online scrapbook to uh, document and map your harvest so that down the road uh, you can have your stories posted in your own words so your loved ones can read them after you're gone. Gametix.com, guys, go go check that out. Go download nice. it. On the cool. Store. Yeah, looks Scrap good. Well, why did you have to use a net for a six-inch fish? Ah. We're drifting that way. I kind of want to set the Which rod. Way going this way? We're going that way. A little rougher than last time we were out here. We're about uh, 14 miles out right now, and uh, we're looking for structure, you'd say, right? Like a hump in the water. Big old rock. Where uh, fish and other things would be relating to, so the shark could you kind of looking for just junk. Yeah, eating bait. Eating bait and so until we can track down. Is this really gonna be about location? Hundred and sixty foot? Hundred and sixty-six feet. Back out, bro. Some serious business out here. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got no business being out here if you don't have the right stuff. Tell me your what? There's uh, what, six, seven foot swells. And I'm learning this on the fly, so I'm relating back to you guys. But uh, she's a lot different than when we were here last time. I'll tell you what, I don't know if you can tell, but it's rolling and uh, on the way out, we hit some serious, what you call them, hills and valleys. <laughs> good, way to put it. good way to put it, right? I only got land terms at the moment, but when you're coming up over top and you can't see the bottom, it's almost like a roller coaster out here. 
just got the anchor out there. We hit bottom there. We good? I think. You think so? We're not gonna drift away? Because it know. doesn't make much sense chumming, does it, if we're, we're drifting? Right, no. No. Yeah, we got another 75 feet of line here, so we're good. Oh, you're just carefully feeding it out, right? Yeah, I'll try to keep it good tangled up. That makes sense. I gotta feel useful, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same way. I'm just holding the camera. <laughs> Holden can relate too. He's just trying to keep his stomach together. How you feel? I, I haven't eaten anything, so I gotta, I gotta eat something. You gotta eat. Well, in the way, in the there's lots of food there and snacks. You need to get that juice out of there. That's rotten squid without spilling all those weights. You don't want to lose the weights in there. I don't want to lose the weights. You want any of the bait in the straight in the boat? motor, bro. That liquid is disgusting. Oh yeah. She's pretty funky. There we go. A little bit of scent in there. Fill it Chum in. buddy. Yeah. Just put a bunch of those right in there. And then what you got? Mac, uh, Pollock. Yeah. Pollock and uh, whatever else you guys could find. There's a mackerel. So that, is that what mo mostly sharks are eating out here? Yeah. Just whiting, mackerel, pollock, anything like pogies. That's probably just need to jam that in there, right? Just like that. Let's go around there. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Just pound it, right? Yeah, chops it up. Oh yeah. You just chop it up real good. Make little pieces. Keep going? Probably good. Okay. Keep your head up, Olin. More bars. Want some water oil? Okay, yeah, some. Do you want to grab my water there, John? Just in the. Yeah. Hold in here. Drink some water. You can throw up water. I'm quite impressed with your courage to do what you've done. Yeah, I should just stay on the phone. That's okay. You know your limits anyway. I'm still willing to go. I'm pretty I'm impressed. Fish oil. Yeah. yeah, just squirt her in there? Yeah. All right. Hey? I did. Give it a little while. All right, there, just tie it. Tie it to the side? Some mass here. Okay. So that's a big chum bag. What's in there? Yeah, same stuff. Same All stuff, chopped. everything chopped. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. The scent in the water. Chum cloud. Chum cloud. Sinking uh, oil. Sinking oil cloud. So this you just buy at the store, obviously, right? Yeah. It's kind of a ready to go kind of deal. Is that enough? Good yeah. Right. <sighs> Nothing smells good out here. <laughs> Those silly sharks. They just want a free meal. I'm dragging. How deep is it? 180, we're chewing 20 feet. Keep your head up, okay? Grab something to eat. Put put a little bit in your stomach. If you throw it up, you throw it up. No biggie. All right, guys, we're anchored now. We got everything kind of in situated. We've got a bunch of bait, a bunch of chum, um, some commercial chum uh, that you can grab from the store, uh, some fish oil as well, and a couple bait, uh, I guess, bait baskets full of you know typical things you find around here: mackerel, pollock. Um, that the fish, uh, the sharks are always looking for. So next, we're gonna get our lines out. Hopefully, we make this work because Holland's already feeling it. <laughs> he's got his head up still. He's gonna fight it for as long as he can, and he's feeling seasick already. Everybody says you should probably grab something. So it'll make you feel better. Hold in. Try standing up. Get your get your camera ready. Okay, get your camera ready then. Let's get the feel.
feel of it. Oh, you got, um, you got a bit of a bird's nest there. Another uh, 10 yards out. Okay. Yards. So you got the float way out there. And I uh, say we're about 10 feet off. Yeah, 10 or 15 feet. 10 or 15 down. And then uh, just letting out from the boat. So our chum should be around here. So we're just waiting for that float to just go pop. Right? Yeah, or it'll just pull. Start um, moving. So like um, the strike indicator. So if you get one on, you kind of want it up here. Because that's your, that's your drag. drag. But if it's like there, it's going to pull like that. Or Okay, gotcha. So it's ready to go there now, yep. and then to engage it down forward, so forward, all the way button forward. There. If you leave it just so it's starting to push it that way, all you gotta do is push that forward. Okay. So like it'll stop if right. You know, so if it's just about there. Gotcha. That's the sound we want to hear. That's yep. the sound we want to hear. <laughs> that's a good sound. Reminds me of Jaws. You're right. That's exactly right. <laughs> I'm like, there you go. Hey Holden, come back here. Come and feel for the rod. If you want that, you can take that. So we probably want to fight off of the holder here. Yeah. yeah. Are we gonna more or less for, the, for that rod? I sure. I got a fighting belt for these ones. <coughs> come on back, Holden. Hey buddy, pass me a GoPro. But do do the most with what you have. Okay, it's not your fault. If we get a if we get a shark on, you're gonna wake up, right? I understand. If we get a shark on, come and reel it in. Here, it's ready to go. Here, the GoPro's ready. It's right here. Preferred bait, Pollock? A little bit of everything. I just I'll mix it up. Yeah. And that's just on the big giant float. Oh, yeah. Rubber bands hold the buoy up. 13 miles. <coughs> it's probably five out. Current wants to go that way. All the chums going. Yeah. There's a wind's pushing the boat. So. All right, we got two lines out there now. Quite a ways out from the boat, ten feet down from the float. Uh, we've got Pollock on each one, I think. And uh, we're chummed in now. We're locked and loaded. What we need to do is have the shark cooperate. And we're just waiting for the the rod to go off here. It's got a nice sound to it. Doesn't that sound like Jaws to you guys? That sounds like Jaws to me. It's coming, whatever it is, but I don't feel any head shakes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There we go. Oh, oh no. no. Did you lose it? Yeah, popped off. You see it? I didn't see it. Oh, that was wild. My. <laughs> so, wow. That is a heavy fish. Dang it. Bust it off. That didn't take too long though. Nope. No, we're right on them. 
<laughs> definitely oh. shot because you can see how the, uh, the the lines frayed, like from its skin. I wonder if it spun back oh, around. Is it? It just cut that line. But you had an eight foot leader, you know, like a six foot leader. Turn back on it. Somehow, somehow it's oh, I'm shaking right now, so bad. I didn't know it if it was. Shaking a, at the end, it was fighting. Yeah, it was yeah, fighting. Fight. All the way in, nothing. And then as soon as you get, you know, to the boat, it's like, okay, game off, game on, right? And then just. That was it. Yeah, I'm Came shaking back too. And, yeah, I right? Know why. Slice the line. Wow. Well, all right, well, back at it. Sit there. Here, sit here. You're gonna get wet. Okay, I'm gonna move you if you don't move yourself. Looks like its head's missing. Heading back in because, uh, well, for a second probably, Poland's got to go back to shore. I you feel about as good as that seal looks? Yeah, I'm not an ocean guy. Not an ocean guy. <laughs> not an ocean guy. <laughs> <laughs> At least you know. Anyway, it smells a little funny too. Yeah, it stinks. <laughs> All right. Oh. Let's, let's get out of here. Yeah. We're not going to tow that guy for bait, but we could probably. Going to be no shark for you today. Well, I'll still get it. I How are you gonna get a shark if you don't well, go I'll, out? I'll, you guys will get a shark for me instead. Just for the record, that was 45 minute ride in the bumpiest, choppiest water. Yeah. What, 10, 15 miles? But I'm not gonna let you suffer on the water, so. You got your snacks, you're on your own. <laughs> you gotta fend for yourself and wherever the heck we are right now. Not round, really sure. Round pond. Round pond. Yeah. And the corner store up the way. You got the keys to uh, Brody's truck. So you can hang out here. Feel better now? It's well, kind of yeah. instant, right? Not really. Well, once we start moving, <laughs> but then as soon as we stop, we'll just end up barfing nothing again. Yeah, barfing nothing. Mm -hmm. No breakfast to barf out. Well, no drum of me. The drum of me went out first. It's like, no, I'm out of here. Doesn't even work, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We, we tried to we tried to put you on an island too. Well, yeah, I wanted to go on an island because in the US, we have to drive as far. As far, but it's only about half the distance, so you would have been stuck on an island. It would have been worse. It would have been worse. It would have been worse. <laughs> anyway, you're here now. Damage done. We just move forward from here. <laughs> all right, Colin's back on shore. Hopefully he's not getting into trouble. We're all re-rigged. We got a bunch of lines out. So hopefully this is good. We're about uh, 143 feet of water. Uh, it looks like it's settling down a little bit out here. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. It's all kind of <laughs> feels a little better. A little better. A little better. Yeah. Seeing fish, huh, bud? Yeah, the whole bottom going. Just hold it. Sir. Yeah.
How many lines we got out here now for sure? Four. Four. We got every inch of the water column. Yeah. Covered. Oh, do we? Yeah. That one's on bottom. This one's almost on bottom. Right up on the surface and then suspended like 15 yards down. There. Just need one to cooperate. Or I should say another one. Another one. Man, that sucks. <laughs> right? That was what? Within 10, 15 minutes of getting set up? Oh, it's, yeah, pretty much. Gonna be dinner soon. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Is that fine still? Yeah, I'm gonna put more. We'll drop it down a little bit. You know, we're five hours into this ordeal, and I got the seasick now. So I'm only on one dry heave, so that's pretty good. Let me see if I can keep it down. I'm gonna try for 45, 40 more minutes. 45, 40. 40 more minutes. 40 more. Cool. I got the, I got the shakes too, and uh, get that coating in your mouth. You're ready to go. Oh, that is a very unpleasant feeling. Oh, I've escaped it until now. Five hours of bombing. What's the alternative? Keeping right out of the gate. <coughs> right off the bat, like Holden. <laughs> oh. Do you feel better if you puke? Try it. I think I'm gonna puke, but. Can you get that video in, Chum? Chum, just extra chum. I, I usually have a hard time throwing up until I get a little bit up. You don't a piece of chum. Don't even make me think of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> That's no joke. <laughs> Freaking lightweight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That was for holding. <sighs> Ready to pack it up? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> you got something on that big jig. <coughs> <laughs> Consolation prize. Yep. Right. Uh. Uh. Andrew? Should I pull this in? You ready for a <coughs> redemption? Okay. <coughs> Is that mine? Yeah. 
Should I pull this in? Not a shark, is it? Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> oh, it's something heavy on there. Dude, that's that's not light. <sighs> no bite on it. By me. Where's the hook? By John. Right beside it. Right leg. <coughs> Big old cask. Oh. Nice cask. Put them in? Yep. That's good eats. Oh. <coughs> That's a beauty. Oh. How are you feeling now? I feel better actually. <laughs> you get the puke out of my mouth. So those have some teeth. Oh yeah? Those are, good. Those are really good teeth. Oh, that's a big one. I'm sure I could enjoy it a bit more. <laughs> Here, I'll move out of the way. <laughs> I <laughs> wish I could help. We're gonna do that live nut, live no cut, right? <laughs> so that's a, it's like a bourbon? Yep. Is it the same? Yep. It's the same. It's a salt water bourbon. Salt water bourbon. <clears throat> Doesn't look exactly like the bourbon that you would get from fresh water. Sweet. Well, I actually feel better now. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see if that lasts. Um, Still, still need a shark though. I got redfish and we got bourbon. <coughs> and an experience and a story to tell. Well, I don't see why we wouldn't drop that thing back down. I got uh, my second win. So we put a we did put a 40 minute time limit on before that happened and threw up everything I ate and a bit more somehow. Didn't eat that much, but I gotta rinse this stuff out of my throat. It's all <clears throat> Settle my brain down, but there's some more water to throw up later. I'm trying to do at least 40 more minutes if we can. See if that changes it. Oh, well, we're back. We'll see if we can trick Holden and put big smiles on our faces and pretend like we're successful. <laughs> we are somewhat successful. We got some food to eat, and yeah, uh, we're gonna go do that. What'd you make out? Fine. Still eating. Yeah. Stomach's better? Hmm? Stomach's better? Yeah. So yeah, you already heard blew the, blew the story. So I got a cusk. Is that pretty good, pretty good size cusk? What's a cusk? It's like a bourbon. If you know what that is, I'll have to show you. And anyway, we're going to eat it. So it's going to be delicious. We caught some red fish. Okay. And a we're giant shark. And, and a giant shark. Yeah, okay. No, uh -huh. it actually didn't catch a shark. Yeah. And I uh, threw up. Nice. I yeah. threw up nine times. You threw up since you got back? No. On the boat? Nine times on the boat. Dude, I projectile vomited. Yeah, so did I. And I stayed out there after. Okay. But I hear it's actually really good. Like, because Burbit, you guys, that uh, Canadians are always like, oh my goodness, ice fishing. You know, Burbit, the best thing in the world. And our cusk is the exact same type of fish, you know. So, is that better than shark? I don't know, because I only ever had my Burbit before. Or my cusk, and I haven't had a shark either. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Get some. Let's see if we can get. <laughs> <laughs> High five. <laughs> We just gotta let that sucker smoke. It smells really good. I don't know what flavor would it. I still don't know, we gotta find out. These smokers are pretty cool. I don't know if it runs off of a propane or what. 
can't figure out. It's electric? Looks like it seems, seems like it's electric. So there's a bowl and the pellets are getting, the auger is electrically putting them into the bowl. And then in the bowl is like a, a rod that heats up. And that is hot enough that it keeps the pellets ignited and the fan blows through and blows on them kind of like you would for a forge. And that gets a lot of heat out of a small pile of pellets, just like a pellet stove that heats your house kind of thing. But instead, these are food grade pellets from Z Grill, but you can get them, you know, anywhere. Like they have them different flavors. Some are better quality than others. And, and then there's mesquite and applewood and all of your different flavors, which match with different items. Honestly, like though, I haven't really paid attention to like which ones match with which foods to care about that part of it though, yet. And which one are we using today? I have no idea. No, you don't even know. I, I, gra <laughs> I saw there was a bag whatever. in the kitchen and uh, <laughs> it could, it, it might, I think I be a, like a general purpose pellet that's mixed. It's a little bit of all some, of those woods. There's some stuff before, yeah. so it's gonna But be... you definitely don't want to use a pellet stove pellet in here because they're not like food graded, not I don't think. Yeah, we'll just plug it in. We're looking for 160 on the inside for fish. Something like that, know, yeah. Something like that, so we can stick it into the thickest part of the fish. Oh, that's getting there. We got the thermometer saying 136. <laughs> it's looking good. Now we're getting soaked, but we got the temperature up to 147. It's pretty good for shark. Cusk or burbot, what are you gonna do? It's gonna be hot. Tong, da dong, tong, tong. There you go. And wait, fish spatula too. You want that? You might need two oh, things. I need it. And you might need uh, Holden to, to oh, hold this, the platter. Yeah, you gotta hold the platter. How's he, what's he gonna do? He's gotta, oh, man. It settled right in, eh? Everybody else took one for the team. It's your turn. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Right, you filled in. I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, All right, here we go. This won't open. Hold on. It's not opening. Oh. Uh, in. I did it one too many times. Pushed in. Okay, so you're gonna. You're I'll gonna, hold this. Oh, you're gonna hold that. And you're gonna put it on there. No, it won't come out. Oh, you gotta film. Come on out. Ah! Don't, don't touch it. No, don't touch That's it. It's hot. Quick. Get it faster. Get it faster. Go. Scratch it. Scrape Go. It. Come on. Oh We're dying. We're melting. Dude. Leave some on the grill, who cares? Oh my god. That's good. Alright. How do we turn it off? Uh, push the off button. <laughs> there you go. Oh my goodness. I got the chunk. <laughs> it smells like cheese. Butter smell. Look at butter's like, butter's like, I smell it. <laughs> butter? Butter likes it. That doesn't mean anything though. Butter would eat anything. She yeah. eats her own poop. <laughs> All right, so a lot of pain and aggravation went into this fish. Yeah. You better enjoy it. <laughs> cost me my whole stomach contents. And cost me. you your whole stomach contents. Cost an extra trip to the pier, drop you off, come back. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of aggravation went into this. You better like it. Apparently, it's as good as shark, so let's try it. Maybe this is going to beat the uh, striper. Maybe. Mm. Got to be careful. There are quite a it's, few. It's good in a different way. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not like striper, mm -mm. but it's pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. You don't have to put a number on it. You have to be like, "Oh, it's a nine out of ten on the fish scale." Do you like it or not? You're not offended by it, right? No. No. I and uh, apparently. Like some. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her. Apparently. <laughs> Um, it, kind of, it kind of tastes like red meat. Very similar to um, shark. As close to shark as you can get without catching one. Oh, nice thanks. piece of white meat there. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Like it's better than the striper. Better than this? Oh my gosh! What? Better than the fried striper? Yeah. What? what? No. Really? No. Not the not the well, not the fish. Actually, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Uh, I didn't I didn't know what you meant. Yeah, you you meant. could deep fry that. Yeah, I thought you meant. Yeah, I thought that's what you meant. Mm -hmm. I like it. Like I like. I do too. But I like most fishes, so um, mm. not too many fish I don't like. Yeah. It's like... What do you think, Zach? It's good. It has it's a, really good. It has the texture... Like, mine was so small. Sorry. It has the texture like... Like, it's like chewy, like red meat, but it's not fishy at all. Like, not at all. 
Yeah. And that's coming from me. Yep. There's no fishy taste. That's a Z-Grill. The one that I had when I went uh, out was was like half the size of this. So the meat like cooked down to almost nothing and it was it was, tasted more like all the stuff I chose to cook it with, but this tastes like meaty, thicker chunks of fish. Yeah. 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 It's good. Um, stick around or whatever, take off, don't subscribe. I really don't care anymore because I'm actually coming back out doing these videos because I want to. Because it's fun and it's a big adventure and it's nice to have my family out to enjoy all of the things that I got to enjoy the last time I get here, came here. Um, check out Zach at, uh, you know, you can find him. You know where he is. Go support him because he's what uh, got me out here so that I can make videos for you guys. I'll see you in the next one.